Elena writes, you don't have to be a mage to see that a powerful transformation of the world is taking place. Empathic people are very sensitive to changes in both weather conditions and social life. You may feel other influences besides the virus, some kind of attacks when you go outside. The world will change very quickly at this rate. Who could have been so bored and come up with the idea to wake people up from their slumber? What to expect and how to behave as empathic people and mages during this time of transformation, it is better for people who are empathic to reduce their empathy a little bit because now the informational current can be of a toxic nature. Because information that contains more than a minimal percentage of lies, unfortunately, becomes toxic. It's like exhaust fumes, and if we breathe in just that and nothing else, we die instantly. This is the kind of information that's coming in right now. If you don't close yourself off from that information, you're more likely to have heart attacks, strokes and other unpleasant diseases that cease to exist on this plane of reality. That's true for empathic people, but it's completely different for mages, as people who are more resistant to these informational influences, mages experience a kind of creative anxiety. In other words, for any mage, the current situation is just like a huge pot of caviar with a large spoon in it to eat as much as they want. A new reality is being created. A reality that has never existed before, at least in this historical perspective, in this historical paradigm. Realities used to be common to all. Then they became common to certain castes and classes of certain nationalities. But never before has a person had the chance to create a reality that is not collective, but individual. It is a great experiment and a huge work, accompanied by terrible cataclysms, because all the old institutions that we are so used to are falling apart, all the old tools that used to work perfectly well are ceasing to work. For an ordinary person, for a layman, it's a disaster. But for a mage, it is a great stroke of luck to be incarnated at a time like this. Because right now, the raw material from which you can create anything you want is available in incredible quantities, and it is absolutely free. You don't have to give up anything, you don't have to pay for it, you don't have to invest your time, you don't have to sacrifice your personal life, just take that material and create something out of it. Determine what you want, determine who you're on the same side with, and then follow the algorithm. These are different states of consciousness, empathic and magical, don't confuse them. You can have a magical state of consciousness with elements of empathy, you can have an empathic consciousness with elements of magical thinking, but there is something that should always prevail. Highly sensitive people have certainly been under a lot of stress in the last two years. But if their consciousness had even a little bit of magical thinking, it would have intuitively found a way to take advantage of such a situation, because it doesn't happen once in a thousand years, it happens once in two thousand years, and it's not meant for everybody. But now it's absolutely meant for each and every one of us. But who will be able to use such a gift? Who will have enough courage, strength, excitement, interest and daring. I really hope, colleague, that it will be you.